What up, squad? Welcome back to the channel. Listen, intermittent fasting was one of those things that changed my entire life. Look, I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know if you can zoom in on this, but like legit, I'm such an advocate for intermittent fasting because it gave me freedom around food. I, do I want to still claim this? All right. I've experienced signs of food addiction in the past and intermittent fasting allowed me to navigate the food addiction and still reach my, my, my weight loss goals. So breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? This is what we've all been taught. And actually I think it's BS. Honestly, there's a lot of people who don't eat breakfast that feel like they need to eat breakfast because that's what they've been taught all their life. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the reasons why intermittent fasting is a superpower. I'm going to give you some mistakes that we all make with intermittent fasting and one mistake that I actually want you to make. And um, yeah, hit the thumbs up button right now. Shout out to the Brick Squad. Matter of fact, you guys know the vibes. I got to show you. I'm about to risk busting my ass. Brick Squad all day. Because I just risked my life, I need you to hit the thumbs up button right now. Right now. All right, and subscribe to the channel if you have it. All right, first and foremost, let's define intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern. It is not a diet. It is a way of eating. It's, it's basically windows of time where you are allowing yourself to consume calories and then a window of time where you're in a fasted state. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Me personally, I do a 16-8 split, meaning I fast for 16 hours a day and I eat for eight hours a day. My eating window starts at 12 o'clock and it closes at eight. During those eight hours, I consume all of my calories. Right now, I'm eating about 23, 2400 calories and I do that with two meals. I break my fast around 12, one o'clock, I have a snack and then I have my last meal of the day around 7.30, closing my eating window at eight o'clock. So there's a few reasons why I think intermittent fasting is a superpower. For one, it develops discipline. For two, it creates freedom around food. So for instance, I've been intermittent fasting now for four, maybe five years consistently. And the fact that I can go all day long, and I've done this on multiple occasions, I can go all day long and not eat anything and not think about food. That is a superpower because if you're like me, and most people are gonna be able to relate to this, our life happens in between meals. Basically, after, after our meal, we're thinking about our next meal. All day long, we're thinking about food. It's very distracting, and if you're thinking about food all the time, it's kinda of hard to lose weight. Let's just be honest. The main reason why I intermittent fast is because inside of me is still a fat boy that loves to eat big ass meals. So what intermittent fasting does, it allows me to sit down and have an eight, 900, 1000 calorie meal. And I can leave the table feeling full as hell. I'm not the guy that's gonna be able to eat four, five, six, seven meals a day. That's just not me. These little 300 calorie tickles on my tummy, that's just gonna aggravate me. So intermittent fasting is a lifestyle that I've discovered that just fits me. I like to eat big meals. I'm super busy. I don't like thinking about food all day. And I've also discovered that when I'm in a fasted state, I'm way more focused mentally, right? It takes energy to digest food. So when you are in a fasted state, you're, you, you have more energy to allocate to mental things, right? Coming up with ideas, being, you know, being more present in the moment because you're not thinking about food and you're not digesting food. There's a lot of upsides. Now let's also talk about science. I'm not gonna get too deep in the science, but there's a term called autophagy right? Which basically is your cells regenerating. And when your body is in a fasted state, your, your body is creating new cells. It's regenerating cells. Long-term, in my opinion, I think this is going to be a solution to slowing down aging and to preventing Alzheimer's disease, right? This is just my assumption. But if you do any research on fasting, there's tons of benefits, both physiological benefits, mental benefits and spiritual benefits. I think my discipline strength has been enhanced by my intention of developing uh, a, a fasting habit. 
So these are some of the benefits. Now, there's right ways to do intermittent fasting and then there's wrong ways to do intermittent fasting. One of the biggest mistakes that I've made in the beginning of my fasting journey was I would drink zero calorie carbonated drinks, right? It would be like a, a, a cherry flavored carbonated drink. It's zero calories, but in my head I thought, if it's zero calories, then I'm still fasted. No, anything besides water, green tea, or black coffee will break your fast. But here's the thing, for most of us, the reason why we're trying to intermittent fast is to control our calorie intake, right? Most people watching this right now are trying to lose weight. It's to control our calorie intake. So even if you're consuming zero calorie beverages, you are still training your body to go without food. And there's value to that, right? So in the beginning, right? Maybe that's your first step. Like let's say you're brand new to intermittent fasting and you wanna start. Here's some advice. First thing you do, try to extend the time you eat breakfast one hour. Right, so if you normally eat breakfast at nine, say, okay, the first stage of my intermittent fasting journey, I'm moving my breakfast from nine to 10, right? And then you can gradually keep extending that breakfast time, right? That's one thing. Also, if you're, let's say your intention is to start eating at 12, right? You wanna open your eating window at 12, but at 9.30 or 10 o'clock, you're hungry drink the carbonated drink technically it's going to break your fast but you're still training your body to go without food another thing it is a big mistake to be super rigid about your eating window especially if this is something that's brand new for you again you want to take it slowly you want to take it slowly so if your goal is to start eating at 12 but at 10 30 or 10 45 right you're hungry hey just eat, break your fast. You want to try to extend it as long as you can. Let's be very clear. I'm not telling you to just give in to your whims, but understand that this is a process that's going to take a while. So if, if normally you eat breakfast at nine and it's now 1030, but you're hungry. All right. You, you extended your breakfast 90 minutes. That's a win. Go ahead and break your fast. And then tomorrow aim to get a little bit longer. Basically long story short, be kind to yourself understand the process, be patient, and, and just build up to it. You wanna build up to it. You don't wanna do thing, anything too drastic because it's not sustainable. Another tip to help make intermittent fasting stick is to make it convenient for you. Don't just say, oh, Bricks eats from 12 to eight, so I'm gonna to decide to eat from 12 to eight. No, take a look at your schedule. What time do you think would work best for you? Are you a morning person? Are you an evening person? It doesn't make sense if you know you don't go to sleep until 2 a.m to close your eating window at eight, right? Really assess your life and figure out a way to make it fit best, for sure. To sum it up, intermittent fasting is a tool that you can keep in your tool belt. You can make it a lifestyle or you can pull it out when you need it, right? It gives you freedom, it gives you options, it, it gives you control over your relationship with food. So let's say, you're on vacation and you're in the middle of a weight loss journey. Intermittent fasting is that tool you can pull out your tool belt and you fast all day long because you know for dinner you're gonna have 3,000 calories, right? So instead of eating all day and then eating 3,000 calories at dinner, you've saved yourself a bunch of calories just by pulling out the intermittent fasting out of your tool belt, right? You're just going all day without eating. This would allow you to stay focused while on vacation. Same can apply if you know you're going to be hanging out with friends, right? And you're going to, you're going to be eating chicken wings and french fries and, and having a few beers. All right, I'm going to fast all day. I'm going to work out hard. I'm going to fast all day. And this will allow me to stay within the confinements of my calorie intake for the week or for the day, right? So again, intermittent fasting is not for everyone. It's a powerful tool that I've used to change my entire relationship with food. It changed my life. It is the reason why I'm able to stay lean right now because I intermittent fast. So guys, hit the thumbs up. If this was helpful and you want some more tips to help you lose fat pretty fast, I want you to click the link in the description, grab my fat loss guide. It is a powerful resource. I give you guys so many tips, tricks, strategies, and hacks. 
And when you put your information in the field, make sure you check your spam folder and confirm your email subscription. That way we can send the fat loss guide to you. And as always guys, remember, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of you. So evolve.